This is a for sure way to tell female from male. So, take your carapace, which is your top of the shell, and you look at the back And these flares. So a males flare up like wings here. And you can kind of, you can see that come up in the back there and fold up. That is a sure characteristic of a male. Females on the other hand that doesn't flare up like that. There's no, there's no wingage that so pretty much just goes straight down. Female. Male. And you can see that lip up. This, the female shell doesn't have a lip. can see that lip. Now they have a where it kind of goes but it's still not a heavy flare. I mean that's a good curve. That is a straight drop. So that's one surefire way to tell a male from a female. Now here, you should be able to see that flare come up on this surface a lot better. So, you can see, it doesn't really stay straight with the surface anymore, it flips up. That female goes straight down onto the surface. Female, male, that ma male kind of flips from them grinding on. So now we're going to get to age and decay rate. So here I've got two older shells that I've, they're preserved a little bit better. It's cuts on the bottom. Missed those, but I just didn't find them. These ones, this one's only missing these three scuts. But you can tell that's a more adolescent turtle a lot smaller than the other than the others there's also so this one was probably an or ornate box turtle as it has these flares here and these here are more common three-toed box turtles so they have more darker. They're a lot more common here in Arkansas. Usually these are the shells I find. I think this is the only ornate box turtle shell I've ever found. And it's still not as ornate as some I've seen. I've seen some like wild colors with yellow patterns. Um, that's, that's the only one I've ever found with these kind of stripes on there. So anyways, so this would probably be like a seven to eight year old adolescent. It's much younger. You can tell by the shape of it. Um, it just hasn't, just hasn't gotten, gotten very old or weathered yet. Um, you can kind of tell by the sun bleaching too. This is a much older turtle. 
these are probably 30 to 40 years of age. They're a lot fatter and thicker. This one you can feel his little indention. You can kind of see it down there. He's also got some nice flares from the back. So like we said, that's a surefire way to tell that this was a male turtle. And this is a really cool one just because of how preserved that kept. Both of these were found in wet, very marshy climates. So I think that had to do with the preservation. These two were found in a dry, pine-needled environment. So, which would you know, relate to why they dried out so e so easily. You know, I found this one probably within a month. Um, animal decay usually happens from what I've noticed within a month's time. Um, this one here left more in a wooded area. It's not as good of a white sun bleaching. This one is in a little bit more sunny of an area. As you can tell it has a very nice, very almost bleached white look to it. And that's just from sitting in the sun. Now you can tell that these, I mean, the scuts of this shell hard on there. Scuts of this shell very well on there. This, these ones feel like they're almost falling off. And there are no scuts, which are, scuts are the pieces of their puzzle, the top pieces of their shell. These aren't actually like, they're not, they're part of the shell, but they flake off. So um, these are proteins and nutrients. And as the turtle's alive, they feed these scuts and they grow and they flake off. Um, box turtles don't flake off, they just continue growing. But red-eared sliders and most um, water turtles, they'll flake off and they grow and grow and grow. But box turtles, these are kind of like, it's one way to tell, it's not sure fire, but it's kind of like um, a tree. And these grow and grow and grow and grow and grow until they're so close together, you almost can't tell the age of a turtle, but. You can kind of see this one does have some pretty cool patterns in it. So anyways, um, that is turtle decay, turtle age. So now, I wanted to show y'all the anatomy of a turtle and that the shell, the carapace, is like a turtle's skeleton. That's their spinal cord there. So if their shell is compromised, they're gone. If that hinge is opened, there's no, they have no shelter. So that's the inside of what a shirt turtle shell looks like. Some information just for all you other turtle heads out there. Some Hopefully that's some useful, helpful information for turtle identification.